In the first two videos, we looked at solving linear second order differential equations with constant coefficients in the form a d2y by dx squared plus b dy dx plus cy is equal to zero. And in those particular cases, we looked when we had b squared minus 4ac greater than zero. And we had two distinct real roots to the solutions of our auxiliary equation. In this video, we're going to look when we have b squared minus 4ac is going to be equal to zero for the auxiliary equation. So, when we looked at a differential equation in the form a d2y by dx squared plus b dy by dx plus cy is equal to zero, the auxiliary equation was given as am squared plus bm plus c equal to zero. So what we're going to do now is see the case when our roots alpha is going to be equal to beta. Let's take this one to start with. We've got d2y by dx squared minus 10 dy dx plus 25y is equal to 0. So I can write m squared plus 10m plus 25 is equal to 0. This will factor and it's going to be what we call a perfect square. So it's going to be m plus 5 all squared is equal to 0. This gives rise to one repeated root to the auxiliary equation of m is equal to minus 5. We now have two roots to the differential equation, and we can put them in the form as follows. We can write y is equal to ax e to the negative 5x plus b e to the negative 5x. And in general, we write this now as y is equal to e to the negative 5x ax plus b. So that, I say in general, that's how we would factor it. The general solution when alpha is equal to beta is going to be y is equal to e to the alpha x multiplied by ax plus b. And that's the general solution if you end up with repeated roots to the um, auxiliary equation. We just write it in this form. So the actual differential equation has two roots itself. So these are two independent roots. ax e to the negative 5x is independent to b e to the negative 5x. Let's look at another example now. So what we've got is m squared taking now the auxiliary equation m squared minus 18m plus 81 is equal to 0. Again, another perfect square. m minus 9, all squared is equal to 0, so m will be equal to 9. So we can now write y is equal to ax e to the 9x plus b e to the 9x, which of course we can now factor as y is equal to e to the 9x ax plus b. Whilst we're here, we might as well introduce a new bit of terminology. This is now called the complementary function. Okay, you might um, you might come across it the general solution or the complementary function. We certainly bring the complementary function in when we have what we call a particular integral. So a general solution is given as the complementary function plus a particular integral. But that's some note or some uh, terminology that you might want to start thinking about. So the take home message is if we have repeated roots to the auxiliary equation, the general solution of the second order differential equation will be y is equal to e to the alpha x, then we'll have ax plus b, where a and b are arbitrary constants and alpha is the repeated root of our auxiliary equation.